All right, what's up guys? Standing on the shoulders of giants here. Barbell Physio, the Barbell Physio, posted a good series of shoulder series, but also a really cool thoracic extension banded drill to work on overhead squat. Which we're not gonna work on thoracic extension here, go to his page for that, I can even link it in my story, I think I actually did already. But I wanna use the series of band stuff for road to the cup work to improve our squat position and shoulder patterns, and I'm gonna show you how. Also influenced by Dr. Seth Albersworth here, where he talks about if you have like a corrective or rehab, you're not doing it just as a warm up, you're doing it throughout the day, building volume, recruiting with it, frequency three to five times a day, three to five sets of 15 to 20 reps, get very fluent in it because if you have a pattern issue, you have that pattern issue every day. It's not just when you squat and so forth. So those of us who have desk jobs and things like that that are immobile can utilize something from both. That shoulder series from the Barbell Physio, which we're gonna modify to a squat pattern, and the frequency that Dr. Seth advises to improve position. So I'm gonna steal just a couple of the movements. First, the overhead press. So what we're doing is we're opening the bands and overhead and reaching up, opening the lats, right? That's simple enough, very easy way to open up for overhead work. We don't do overhead work in powerlifting. If you're a strongman, you should be utilizing this all the fucking time, by the way. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna sequence the overhead press with a behind the neck pull down almost because that's how we're creating tension on the squat bar. We bias towards internal rotation. By spreading the band and pulling down, we're gonna bias external rotation. And then I'm gonna add another series, Law of Radiation, Pavel Satsuline taught me that in like 2001, of squeezing, creating tension all the way through. So the first thing I'm just gonna go through the series of just going through, I'm gonna do it in a squat pattern. So I'm going to reach overhead. Generally, I'd be doing this high rep, like 15 to 20, it's gonna burn like a mother. And after I'm done reaching, then I'm pulling back, not all the way down, we don't wanna compromise the shoulder. But look, I'm sitting in this squat pattern and I'm creating that bar tension in my upper back, which is where most of us lose a raw squat. So I'm gonna hold and create the tension. The law of radiation is really gonna drive that in. Fat grip handles, they weigh nothing but a pound. So now I'm gonna crush these handles, get even more external rotation, do that reach and do that pull down. And if I wanted to bias this for bench, I could, because I'm squeezing this and pushing out for the bench press. I could bias this to improve bench pattern, bench position, and mid-back tension. Very, very useful, very, very quick. Save it, like it, share it, and always thank the people who fucking taught you or you're a narcissist. Still love you.